breathing. I can't hear you. Are you doing breathing it? because Carrie's punching me. I don't know. See, we don't have enough room in the studio for this. So we'll talk about our weather and also take a look at that polar vortex you've been hearing. So we'll see that coming up in a little bit. <laughs> I love the theme music for that. That's <laughs> I <do> awesome. Too. <laughs> Robbie, you are on it. It's like a black hole. <laughs> Don't get caught Say in it. Say it again. Say it again. The polar vortex. <laughs> we have Big Buddha spent the morning with Doxy Elementary Dragons. The drag. I just inhaled a fly. Really? A nasty one. Okay. <laughs> we'll deal with that. You check out our cool school. Nine fifty on this Friday. Welcome back to Good Day Utah. Here's a live look from our Natural History Museum camera. Or should I say Fry Boo? I know it's and kind of a Fry Boo day today. Oh, day. Up. Can't believe we. <laughs> I can't believe it's here. I really can't. Me neither. Okay, watch this. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Carrie Cronk. First on Fox 13, winter weather. She started out as what we call a one-man band, where you go out and you report and you take your camera with you and you set up and then you edit your story. You know, so you know she's got that background. You know, has great reporting skills and is a great storyteller. And got over a foot of snow up here. The medical team is averaging about 13 surgeries a day. 500 cc's and nearly 400 pounds. We were looking for a replacement for the previous co-anchor and we went through probably a half a dozen people for auditions and after those auditions Carrie had been filling in on and off with me and and so the general manager came and said so who do you like who would you want out of all these people and I said well she's already here. I felt a real connection to her from the beginning. Talking about Carrie freaking Crunk, KFC, I mean, we got, again, how much time do we have? And we both have those personalities that are, we kind of tease each other. I would say I'm kind of like the, the brother who teases the sibling. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Trying to get me around. Dirty, dirty hands. Dirty. Yeah. yeah, I think you yeah, touched we the were, spot right you, here. You, right yeah. Look, you there just don't go. cross this line, yeah, okay? Here's our line right here. <laughs> That's the state. Like, I got that. <laughs> You're not drying your hair right yeah, really? now. Wait, he right does. There. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, sorry. She's the fly catcher. She's always got a joke. I mean, she's got a great sense of humor. I've been asked to rap. I'm going to give it a shot. Now here's Damon with what he's got. Okay, whatever she says is right. Exactly. Yeah. Just agree. You're finally right. learning. Okay, I think my favorite memory of her is on my birthday one year, she brought me a big candy bar and it was all wrapped up and I thought, oh, that was so nice of her. And I unwrapped it and the whole thing was covered with cobwebs. You know how it's separated into squares? And in between the squares was just cobwebs <laughs> because apparently it had been sitting in her pantry for years, right? And so she just grabbed it, thought, oh, well, I'll regift this and wrap it up. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I thought in the back of my mind, no one that good looking could ever be that cool, that real, that down to earth. Then I got to know her, and uh, she's all that and more. He kept pinching himself, well, but turns out it wasn't a dream. <laughs> he wasn't the only one pinching him. <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> yeah, right here. Well, you know. There's a sincerity that uh, comes through that two-dimensional screen that I think folks uh, are aware of and connect with. She's very sweet, and you can always go to her. You can always talk to her about anything, and even if it's not at work, run into her at the grocery store, and. If you're having a bad day, you can tell her about it, and she's very empathetic. I, I put it all together the other day about how much time we spent together, and over 21 years, we've spent almost 38,000 hours together, right next to each other. 38,000 hours. Imagine how close you get to another person through 38,000 hours of interacting on every topic through every one of life's challenges and successes, it's significant. When she leaves, it is a big change for everybody, but me too, because I've had a very close friend with me right there through everything for these 21 years. And that's not an easy thing to let go of. It's actually really hard to let go of that. We're more than coworkers. You're more than co-workers after that much time and after sharing so openly about one another's lives for that period of time. <laughs> yeah, I love her. Miss her. <laughs> but I know she'll do great. And we'll keep in touch. She is a real deal and uh, gonna be missed. At first I thought about what I was losing 
But I started thinking about what she's gaining and the adventure that she's going to have. Family is everything and she's putting everything into her family. And I see her being so successful with what's next and I think she's going to love this next chapter in her life. And yeah, very proud of her for what she's made of this wonderful life that she has. But I'm gonna miss her like crazy. Well, I'm glad we ended on an upbeat note. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel, it's gonna be hard for me to talk. I feel incredibly blessed and grateful to have come to work all these years with my best friends. Mm -hmm. And I felt so supported. And who gets to stay at a job for 30 years and work with people they, they love and just, feel so welcomed and supported by all of you two at home that let us come into your homes every day. And really, mm -hmm. I, I really just want to say thank you. And thank you for this send off and thank you for the kind words. And I know we will stay in touch, but thank you, Utah. Thank you, thank you. You know what today has made me feel though is how fortunate we've all been for so long. Yeah. You know, I think that, and Damon, you know, we've been around in the business a long time. This kind of thing with three people like this over 21 years does not happen. It does not happen. And we've been really fortunate to have you as part of our team, part of our crew. You're an integral part, and it will not be the same. You know, just so grateful for what you've done for us, you know, here, and how you've kept it always happy and special for us. And, the thing that I'll never forget is how you make us feel every morning when we come in. Always so happy and Big upbeat. smile on your face. Big yeah. smile, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, David. And thank you, you guys don't know, with all the people behind the scenes, too. I mean, I, we do have a great crew behind the scenes. I should also thank all of them because they do a lot to get this show on the air every day, don't they? <laughs> every <laughs> morning. Man, we've had such good times. We've had we so have. much fun. It's hard actually to kind of encapsulate or put into these videos or goodbyes, everything yeah. over all these years. But good day, Utah. We have just loved it and had so much fun. And I've gotten to laugh every day, which I also think is rare in a job. And you guys are I the I think the same reason. thing often, the fact that we get to laugh every day. And as you mentioned, 30 years, I mean, that's, well, 20 years with us together. and and. The big part of that is just that we enjoy each other's company, you know, so we much. Do. And yeah. And I think that you at home see the authenticity of our friendship that we have and have had, you know. So if we say anything more, I'm going to have to <laughs> refund all my paychecks. We're gonna have a uh, I'm going to have to refund my paychecks from the last 21 <laughs> years. So it's been so all great. Right. <clears throat> Bye, everybody. Good night, Mike. <laughs>